Hey everybody and welcome to another week of the AKB48 Group News of the Week. This time we have some news, you know, it's not a lot, but I think it's still a good amount to merit an episode. And this time I'm going to include a little bit about Sakamichi. Again, like I mentioned last time, I asked you guys if I should, and someone in the comments said that it would be good to at least run down it a little, so that's what I'm going to do this week. But let's go ahead and start with the first one, and this is with AKB48. So, you know, right now how the situation is, there's not enough time to do handshake events. So what AKB48 group is doing is a virtual handshake event, which is kind of like you go to their respective Twitter page and you see all the members kind of do a virtual handshake with you. It's not exactly like very personalized, but you get to see how it would kind of be if you were to go handshake the members. I think this is a really good PR opportunity for the members themselves instead of the whole group because then maybe you get a sense of what exactly this girl is like for a handshake or this other girl. And maybe you never thought about handshaking with this girl, but then you see her here and you think, oh, she's actually pretty cool. Let me go ahead and check her out next time when it's available. So I think this is a good move by them. This is called the Aoichi De Handshake Event. So go ahead and check this out. It's on like the AKB48, NMB, SKE, all of them. Go check them out down below. Next up is STU48. And they have new profile pictures. Look at that. Go ahead and check them out down below. It's a little bit more clean, more clear, a little bit more professional looking with that still cool blue ocean view in the background. Really nice looking. Um, I think it's really clean. It has like a kick light. So like think like a light, but back here kind of like reflecting on their face. You kind of see it on the sides of their face if you look at the pictures. But it's really clean. Like right now I try to emulate the front that they had. So you see there's two light sources in my eyes. So it's kind of something like that, but except they have more lights with them and plus the sun and everything. So I think it turned out really well. And next up, that's really <laughs> all the main news I have about AKB48 Group. Again, you guys can always let me know about news down in the comments below, or you can go ahead and hit me up on Twitter with that. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about international groups. And this is with Team SH, and it seems like some of their members are actually like removed or restricted from group activities. Um, apparently they violated some sort of code of conduct or something. Um, again, I'm not too familiar with the team SH, um, but just from the sounds of this, it seems like they had to go home because they had to reflect on their behaviors. So yeah, and one of them was already demoted to trainee. So things like, seems like things are interesting over there. If you like drama, this might be the group for you. <laughs> Yeah, but go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what happened to them. If you guys know more details, please let me know down in the comments below. Next up, let's go to graduated members and let's start off with Owara Nana, who is going to be part of a drama. Uh, this drama is called Machine Sentai Kira Mega. That's, that doesn't sound Kira Mega. Mega. Okay, that, that's probably German or something. I don't know. I'm not too sure. But it seems like this is like a superhero kind of team, you know. I don't know if it's Sentai, but it sounds like that type of thing. It probably is Sentai, <laughs> just listening to the title. But it seems like she will be on episode 10. So if you have, you know, TV Asahi or something, you can go ahead and check it out. I think it airs today when I'm recording this in Japan. Next step is Yamamoto Sayaka, who is going to release her song Feel the Night on vinyl. Pretty interesting of her. Um, apparently this song is going to be released on the 26th of August. And apparently this song was a coupling song to one of her old singles. I think it was a second single. But go ahead and check that out. There's even a music video for it. I can't check it out because it's not available in my country. So use your VPNs to check that out. And last bit of graduated news is with nmb 48s Kamiera Emika, who just started her OnlyFans account. Oh, go ahead and check that out. If you don't know OnlyFans, it's kind of like Patreon, but except there's no restriction on what to actually do. So I'll leave that up to your imagination. But it just, I, I think the way she's gonna use it is a little more like gravure. So go ahead and check that out. There might be something in the future on the Slope channel, including her. So go ahead and wait for that. If you're not subscribed to the Slope Club channel, go ahead and do that. And you might see some content from that. If you're in the Slope Club Discord, you already know what's going on. But yeah, go ahead and check that out. Go ahead and support her. She's doing it mostly for the international audience. She's not doing it mainly for the Japanese ones. She's treating it sort of as a fan club. So go check that out and tell her I said hello. And last bit, I'll go 
right in with 46. Let's start off with Hori Miona. Second photo book. We've been waiting. First photo book was bad. So now we're waiting for this one. And we have a cover. Cover seems all right. Um, it's not my favorite cover that I've ever seen, but it's at least a little bit more interesting. Actually, the seven net one looks like it's usually the one that would be a regular edition, but for some reason it isn't this time. So it's pretty interesting. Oh, and by the way, the title is Itsuka no Machiawase Basho. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, there's an affiliate link down below. Again, you don't have to pay anything extra, but I get a little kickback from it. Um, right now they're not shipping to the US, I think. So hopefully just wait off until that happens. Crossing fingers, because I want to I wanna get it for sure. It seems like it's already interesting. And next up is Nogizaka Kojichu or Nogizaka Under Construction, as it's known internationally. And it seems like they're releasing new Blu-ray versions for this. They have Blu-ray versions already released, but they're going to release more. This time with the title of Asuka under construction, Hoshino under construction, Shinuchi under construction, and Hori under construction, but really it's all Kojichu. Go ahead and check it out. It's their favorite episode, so I imagine if you're a fan of them, then it'll probably include a lot of them in there. And I already think it's pretty cool that both of them are second gen and two of them are first gen. So inclusion of the second gen? Look at that. And last but not least, we have Kiyakizaka 46 with Sato Shiori returning from her hiatus temporarily because, you know, this whole situation, she can't really study abroad. So she's here for the group and the group is doing nothing right now. Like not even including like the whole situation that's going on, even since before then, since a year ago, they haven't been doing anything. So return to nothing, <laughs> I guess. But that does it all for the news this week. I know this is a shorter one, but there isn't that much going on. If you guys find news ever, go ahead and tweet at me at Mr. Josh Bucks or go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. But in the meantime, I guess you can find me on the Slope Clip channel doing stuff there. Again, Sakamichi podcast every week and different videos coming out. Like recently we did a review or a discussion of Baby Metal's first album. So go ahead and check that out. Check out our thoughts and check out our scoring at the very end. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.